One exciting addition to CTrader 5.0, which has been requested by many users over the years, is the ability to add indicators and CBOTs on the chart using code. This feature allows you to automatically visualize the indicators used in your strategy, as well as build more elaborate trading strategies and tools. In this video, we will show you how easy this is done in CTrader 5.0. Let's switch to the Algo section, choose the CBOTS tab and modify an existing sample CBOT. We will choose the Sample Trends CBOT. This example uses moving averages. Let's see how we can program the strategy to add the indicators to the chart. First we will define two indicators. Adding charts to the chart can be achieved fairly easily with the additions of two lines of code. The indicator's appearance can also be customized by changing the output line settings. There are several options we can customize in an indicator output line, like the color, the thickness, and the line style. Let's make indicator one line red and thicker. Same applies for removing the indicators at any time. We will do this on the change of the bar. Let's build our C bot, add an instance and run it. We can see the two moving averages used for trading added on the CBOTS chart. After a bar is formed, both indicators are removed. Now let's see how we can manage CBOTS using another CBOT. We will create a new CBOT and name it Add CBOTS. This CBOT will add two CBOTS on the chart and then start and stop them based on simple conditions. Again, we will start by defining two chart robot objects. Then we will add these robots on the chart in the onStart method. We can also add an event handler and print a message whenever a robot is started. We will write some logic inside the onBar method to start the first robot when the bar changes and then stop it and start the second robot on the next bar. Let's build our robot and start it. We can see the two instances added on the chart. Let's wait for the first bar to complete. And then the second one. We can see how our CBOT executes our logic and manages the two separate CBOTs based on conditions. Now we can demonstrate another interesting new addition in CTrader 5.0. This would be the option to change the parameters using code. There are many reasons to change parameters on the fly, for example, you want to trade the same strategy but with different parameters for each trading session. We will modify our code and instead of starting a new CBOT, we will just modify the slow periods parameter of CBOT1.
Let's rebuild the C bot, start it and see how the indicator value changes on each bar. In this video, we have demonstrated how you can manage indicators in CBOTs using a CBOT. However, you should note that this is possible with indicators and plugins as well, as long as the relevant permissions are provided. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.